light that loose, put his head down for a second, lifted it, spring high in gate five, Woodstock Festival, spring high is not happy, gate five, settle in, thousand meters, hood comes off Shinnecock and they sent on their journey from the 1000 meter marker. Valiente burns early. The white blazer Valiente at the eight peg gets away too. Alphonsus Bagoni towards the inside. Prince Crash, blaze of silk. Wunderbar to the outside. Jenna Cox and the blue on the inside. Pacific winters between them. Light bat loose has dropped a couple of lengths off them. Towards the inside, Spring High, Hampton Court's about four lengths off them. Wunderbar, Woodstock Festival, and the Mazio. Using the entire race course coming to the 300. Down the middle, Valiente with 250 to go. Light that loose, Shinnecock's trying to get into it. Pacific Winter's between them. Blaze of Silk towards the outside, Wunderbar. Light that the loose, though, comes home readily. And light that loose. You can stop the clock to win by two. Shinnecock second, then came Pacific Winter behind these, and we'll wait for confirmation for the minor positions. Number one, light that loose. Pick them up. Down the inside, the JPEG for the Cotson team, bred by Team Bella International, the Irwins. This is for the Jithus, 3A Racing Syndicate, the Bowmans, Green Street Bloodstock, Everett Halls, Governors, Smarts, Godarchies, Edwards. Shinnecock second, Pacific Winter third, and fourth spot, maybe Valiente. Maybe Valiente on that. I'll go Valiente, Blaze of Silk. Well, like that, Lucy dropped off them a couple of lengths and then started to really get into the action. Shinnecock, Pacific Winter, and towards the outside of runners Prince Crash, coming inside the distance, light that loose. Raymond Danielson gets him to really take off in the last 200 metres, and he wins a tad cosily. Back to the studio. Race number five has been won, bar number one, Light the Loose in the Green Street Brother, um, the <laughs> Green Street Bloodstock, I nearly said Brother, Green Street Bloodstock Colours. Uh, Barry Irwin is the breeder, Raynan Demelson is the, is the is jockey, but first of all we've got the groom here, the groom is St. Tim Bila. well done St. Tim Bila. thousand rand for the winning groom of number one, Light the Light. Light the loose. Well, let's get that right now. John's in the in the hot seat. John, six runs ago, ran in a five furlong. Come back to the five and produce the goods. Well, Steve, you know, uh, Callum Dixon won him on the work riders in a graduation of a 1200, 1100 actually. I did run him in a 1400 last time. I thought he might see it out. It was my fault. I shouldn't have. Uh, we brought him back to the minimum uh, tip of a thousand. And he's a nice horse, Kev. You know, he's always shown nice work at home. Just well done to all owners. There's a lot of them. So well done to them and thank you very much. Well done indeed. Well done to John. That's John. He runs the show for the Glen Cotsignon. Ray Ray Danielson comes into the hot box. Ray, Durban, this is your, your month. Uh, you're, in, you're in Durban for the month and bringing home the winners. Well done. Yeah, look, I'm getting a few chances, which is always nice. Always helps, you know, if you get chances. Um, obviously, Joburg was a little bit limited uh, uh, on rides for me, so I had to make a decision where it's going to be a bit better for me. So I'm glad I did. I'm enjoying it. And getting some nice rides and getting a few rides, which always helps. And yeah, as, as many more rides I get, I'll do my best on every one of them. Nice horse, this uh, Light Loose. Uh, won a good race. Uh, speaking to John, he says, can run a bit and uh, it's not going to stop here. Yeah, look, um, when I, I actually caught, uh, he caught my eye when he won his maiden with Anton, I think one by like eight lengths or something like that, six or eight lengths. And that day he caught my eye and, and then I just haven't seen him or heard from him since then. And yeah, I mean, I went to go work him. Um, I jumped him behind. I went with the Appy uh, and I jumped behind and then I thought, oh my word, I, I'm going to give this horse no chance jumping in behind. And then 200 to go in the sand, he just turns into gear. And, and I think that's the way he likes to be ridden. He likes to be hidden behind the pace. And once I squeezed him 400 to go, it was instantly there. And he gave me another kick 200 to go and, and put the race to bed. Definitely, I thought it was a very good ride. Um, 
Uh, Ray, Ray, just while we've got you, Ray, anything left in the end of the day? It's not easy, the racing at the moment. Maybe you've got one of the slide into the back of quartets or, or trifectas? Yeah, look, I've got Black Bull, obviously, he's, um, he's a smart horse. Um, I've ridden him twice, won twice on him. I feel he is a better horse over further. Today, he's, he won with 62 last time, but the field wasn't as strong as today. 61, giving some good horses weight is going to be a bit tough for him, but he's a soldier. He's, I think he's my next best. Well done, Ray. Well done for this win, and good luck for the Marker Roberts handicap. A big, big uh, thank you quickly to Mr. Cotson, I mean, Glenn Cotson, to John and his whole team, and then to Green Street, uh, Bloodstock, and Justin for Mark. Well done. Thanks very much. There's Ray Ray uh, telling everybody thanks very much. Uh, it was a very, very good win from number one, Light That Loose. Just keep an eye on it, speaking to John. He says uh, they can run a bit and definitely looking for another win.